Oh, hey traders, welcome to the video. Please pause the video and make sure you understand the disclaimer before proceeding. Hi traders, Anthony here, just taking a look at Bitcoin paired with USD at the moment. So in terms of chart patterns, I guess we have somewhat of a bullish ascending triangle thing going on here. So we can see this has been banging away at this level. Uh, and, we, and we're seeing these higher lows setting up. Let's just go out quickly. I want to go and have a look at the monthly and just see how, where the current price is, what that looks like. Okay, here it is. See, see this candle week high here, monthly high. Let's just mark that up as a monthly and then we'll go down to the lower time frame and we'll see how these come into play. So we've got just where the current price is, we've got this level here. Uh, we'll go to the weekly. We'll do that again. Let's have a look at the weekly. See, look at this. These two candles here, weekly. So we've got a, a, a weekly and a monthly combo. Right there. Same level, pretty much. Level weekly. And when we go down to the daily, well, there you have it. See, we've got this weekly, monthly uh, range through here that we haven't been able to smash through yet. So that's telling us that there's a key level, this range, and there's a stack of sell orders resting in the, in the order book up here that are overwhelming the um, buying activity. In saying that, how long will it last? This has been pretty bullish, and the more we... It's like if you grab a hammer and, and you keep smashing, hitting a rock, eventually it shatters. So we keep banging away at this, this level here, we can see these higher lows. At some stage, we could see, we could see, you know, a break, retest and fail. I mean, if that happens, I'll be long. But in saying that, be a little bit careful because see back down in here, this, this candle. We, if we pick up the candle left and the candle right and we pull that through, we have this imbalance. The, the, the next level down balance area is this level through here. Balance area as in where you see an, more or less an even number of buy and sell activity in the order book. So there's a balance of buying and selling. And then when we push through, it's either bullish or, you know, it's either a bullish or a bearish imbalance because there's no, there's no real balance here. It's one-sided. That's my understanding anyway. So we have this gap, price gap through here on the 4H that could look to um, get filled at some stage so with that in, I mean given this is bullish just be a little bit careful you know I wouldn't be going in here willy-nilly <laughs> unless we get a break retest and fail and then we see the momentum picking up here then that could be a thing otherwise what I'd be looking for would be we just pick up these key levels here we've got uh, support here through this range we've got support back down in here this range through here so there's two levels of interest and then we've got this imbalance so let me just mark that up as a price gap just to differentiate support support a gap and then support once again down in here you know if, if this thing pulls back down if it breaks this level here we could have an opportunity to get in long here but be careful you know i mean does it do something like that, you know what I mean? So we've got to be very, very careful with this, especially with so much bullish momentum. It's either going to crack to the, to the upside or it could take a dive. And we know Bitcoin has tended to be fairly volatile. This is what I'm concerned about, something like that. So that's that. Uh, what I want to do is, well, I mean, like where to from here? There's no real trade idea other than just be aware of these levels under the fact that it could break either way. And if it breaks to the downside, then, you know, don't underestimate how far this thing can travel. I think that's what I'm trying to say. But I would be looking for buy opportunities more interested down here than anything, rather than up in here. But uh, anyway, that's remained to be seen. What we can do is go to the lower time frames and look for the opportunity. So let's just do that now. Here's the thing. I want to show you this. We'll go to, well, actually, we'll go to... We'll go to this 15. This green bar that you're seeing here, let me just mark this up. This point in time here is the same on every time frame. 
it's not it's not um, like five minute, three minute, a one minute, a fifteen minute. It'll be the same point in time. This is not time frame dependent. This bar is telling us that the four hour chart and the daily chart uh, are in agreement with each other in terms of strength to the upside, bullish momentum at this point in time onwards. That's a lot to digest, but let's just go back here. And I want to show you this. We have these signals firing, and at the moment, mainly um, mainly uh, 4x, but uh, I'm going to be setting some uh, crypto signals in here as well. These fire giving us an opportunity to come into the chart early on when the 4-hour and the daily are strong together. Look at this. There's your opportunity, right? Not only this indicator gives us the four hour and the daily, if this indicator down here, this is a higher time frame. We've got the one, uh, the two, four, I don't know, daily and weekly or something. We've got five time frames in here. If the majority are green and we get a green bar, there's your buy. Let's just go back and have a look at some of these. I'll just bring on the trend channel. I want to show you this. The power of this of these signals. I mean, look at this. Okay, so the, the bottom indicator, three out of four are green. And then we get a bullish signal here. These are not buy and sell signals. It's a, it's a signal telling us that the higher time frames agree with each other. All right, there's another one. And we're looking at the uh, indicator below. We want, we want more green on the one below than red. All right, and if it's the other way around, then we want more red than green. Look, guys, jump on board, gain access to my indicators, my VIP trade signals, my educational videos. I've done video tutorials on these. Look at this. Three, three out of uh, five down the bottom are green. We get that, and I mean, some incredible opportunities here. Let's see if we can find a red one. I'll just go back. Oh, look, look at this. They're all green. All green across here. This is... This <laughs> look at these guys. I mean, look, seriously? What else can I say? I mean, I think the chart speaks for itself. So look, jump on board. Uh, the link is below. I'd love to see you in our uh, Telegram group and uh, gain access to the indicators. Here, I think the opportunity was back here and it's not here for me. So let's just see what happens if this rolls over and gives us another shot at it. With that, I hope you have a great day, safe trading, and I will see you in the next video.